All right, all right, all right. It's episode number 14 of Chappie's Tiki Bar. We're going to La Mariana from Magnum P.I. We're going to do best tropical destination stories. We're going to make a tequila sunrise and a dull pineapple whip. And then we're going to have best tropical destination stories right here on Chappie's Tiki Bar. Whoa! Aloha and welcome to Chappie's Tiki Bar. I'm Chappie. With me as always is Mookie, or as we like to call her, El Chapo, because she likes to burrow under blankets and such. Uh, so we got a great show coming up. Um, we're going to go all the way out to Honolulu, Hawaii, and see La Marina Authentic Tiki Bar, uh, where they film Magnum P.I. I'm going to make a Dole Pineapple Whip. Uh, but first, we're going to go downstairs to my tiki bar, and I'm going to make a Tequila Sunrise for Happy Hour. Now the reason why I'm upstairs is I wanted to demonstrate to you that I have Mookie trained. So at precisely 5 p.m. she's going to notify me that it's happy hour and she's going to lead me down to the tiki bar. And I can see from my watch it's almost 5 p.m. I'm going to do a countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right Mookie. What time is it Mookie? Oh, there she goes. It's happy hour. All right, so Mookie uh, managed to guide me uh, down the stairs for happy hour. We're going to do the tequila sunrise. So I got my martini shaker. I'm going to put some ice in. Don't flinch when I put the ice in, Mookie. It's okay. All right, we're going to add some orange juice. We got some nice Tropicana with some pulp. And then we, we got some Cuervo tequila. All right, we're going to give it a shaky, shaky mooks. Okay, so that's the uh, Shaken Tequila and OJ. Now we have to add the Sunrise part. Um, I have a few components. So I have a little bit of pomegranate syrup. A little bit of grenadine. And the syrup from uh, maraschino cherries. Now I'm not going to use the maraschino cherries to garnish. I have some nicer cherries. I have some Morello cherries. So I'll use the Morello cherries to garnish. Got my umbrella with for the Morello cherries. And then instead of just a regular orange wheel, I have a blood orange, uh, just like uh, Dexter used to make breakfast before he killed people. So I'll do a whole blood orange uh, orange wheel to garnish. And that is my Tequila Sunrise. Aloha, and welcome to Best Tropical Destination Stories. Uh, this best tropical destination story comes from me. Um, so send your best tropical destination stories to chappiness tiki bar at yahoo.com and I'll read your best tropical destination story on my show. Uh, so Mookie's just going to summon the tiki drums and we'll commence the best tropical destination story. All right, you ready, Mookie?
All right, thanks, Mookie. Uh, so, as I said, this tropical destination story comes from me. Uh, the name of the story is Code Brava. This is another story from my cruise ship days. Um, I was on the Dreamward of Norwegian Cruise Line, and we were doing the New York City to Bermuda run. So anybody that's ever worked on the cruise ships would know uh, the crew has a lot of rigorous safety drills, and there are a lot of codes and safety procedures to know. Uh, for instance, if a crew member were to see somebody fall overboard, uh, the procedure would be to call the bridge and report a code Oscar. So code Oscar means man overboard. Uh, they use codes as to not panic the passengers. Um, and as a crew member, it's important to know uh, which side is the port side and which side is the starboard side. Because if you report a code Oscar on the starboard side and the person went over on the port side, uh, the captain would uh, turn the ship around to go pick up the, the person in the water, but they would go the wrong way and basically cut the person into shreds. So the person would basically be fish chum from the propellers on the ship. Uh, so just little uh, procedures and codes are very important for a crew member to, to know. It reminds me of this uh, girl I worked with on, on that ship. Uh, one day she came into the, the casino and she goes, have you heard? And I go, what? She goes, it's all around the ship. I go, what? She goes, water. So I was down in the crew bar having a drink with the uh, ship photographer. And then over the uh, public address system, uh, there was an announcement. It said, Code Bravo C253. Uh, so as a crew member, we knew Code Bravo uh, meant there was a fire on board. So code Bravo meant uh, there was a fire on board and the C253 was the location. Uh, now C253 uh, just happened to be the cabin number of the uh, ship's photographer who I was having a drink with in the crew bar. Uh, you should have seen his face. He sprang out of the chair. So what happened was he was doing some work at his desk in his cabin uh, and he had some papers on the desk. Um, he decided to uh, take a break from his work and come down and, and join me for a drink at the crew bar. Uh, now on the cruise ships, the doors are like watertight. So like once the door uh, is shut, like there's no water can get in, in or out uh, just in case the ship is sinking. Uh, but so because the, the door is watertight, um, it, it also creates a vacuum. Now this guy uh, liked to have uh, scented candles in his room and he forgot to extinguish the, the candle. Uh, so when the door closed, uh, the basically there, there was like a vacuum that pulled the candle right off the shelf and onto the papers on his desk uh, where he was working. Uh, so, then, so then we're having this drink at the crew bar and we hear uh, Code Bravo uh, C253 and he's having his drink, and he's like, C253, he's like, whoa! And uh, it just clicked in that uh, his uh, cabin was on fire. Uh, so that is uh, my best tropical destination story, which come somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean between New York City and Bermuda. So coming up next, I'm going to make a Dole Pineapple Whip. Um, my friend Rory posted it on Facebook. Um, I love these Dole Pineapple Whips. Um, you got, I got them in Hawaii all the time. They have a stand in Las Vegas. Uh, I think he had his in Disneyland. Um, so uh, it sounds like he uh, unlocked the secret to the Dole Pineapple Whip. So coming up, I'm going to make a Dole Pineapple Whip. All right, so we're making a Dole Pineapple Whip. Very simple. Uh, three basic ingredients. Uh, we got some vanilla ice cream. And then we have some frozen pineapple chunks. And then some pineapple juice. Uh, now, I, I'm going to take the liberty of adding a couple things. I'm just going to put a splash of vanilla. 
And then I'm going to add some uh, Hawaiian sea salt just to make, uh, make it pop a little bit. This is actually pink Hawaiian sea salt. All right, give a little bit more vanilla ice cream. And we're going to blend it up. All right, we'll get it in the bowl and uh, try out some uh, pineapple Dole Whip. Hey, how's it hanging? Mookie here. So coming up next, Chappie's going to go to La Mariana Sailing Club. This is an authentic old school tiki bar located in Honolulu, Hawaii. If you watch the show Magnum P.I., this is the tiki bar that his buddy Rick owns. You're not going to want to miss it. But first, I have a joke. Knock, knock. <laughs> you see... I uh, bark when somebody knocks at the door. And that's how that joke works. So coming up, La Mariana Tiki Bar. The best tiki bar in Hawaii. So here we are at the world famous La Mariana Sailing Club made famous by season two of Magnum P.I. It's located 50 Sand Island Access Road. Uh, now, if you're taking an Uber out there, you might have a little trouble because it's in an industrial area and the road is basically a dead end. It looks like it goes nowhere. So this is truly a hidden gem once you find the place. So that is the zombie which I ordered. They make wonderful drinks there. Very strong. Uh, so on the website it says, founded in 1957 by Annette and Johnny Campbell. Uh, La Mariana continues to serve as a historical reminder of the old days of Hawaii. The decor is a museum of artifacts from some of the original tiki bars. Uh, they have carved tikis from the Sheraton's Con Tiki Room, a rattan chair from Don the Beachcomber, and a pufferfish lamp from Trader Vic's. In 2008, the late Anthony Bourdain was here, uh, filmed an episode of No Reservations, and as I mentioned, uh, pretty much all of season two of Magnum P.I. Uh, this is the bar his Navy buddy Rick owns. Uh, that's played by Zachary Knighton. Now I read the La Mariana in Magnum P.I. is actually a set. But the uh, set is designed exactly uh, like the actual bar. And I can contest to that. Um, it looks just like the bar in Magnum P.I. Unlike the uh, Bull and Finch pub in Boston where uh, the TV series Cheers was based on, it w basically was just a shot of the outside bar. And then when you go into the Bull and Finch in Boston, it looks like nothing like uh, the Cheers set. But uh, this, the, the set here uh, that they use for Magnum P.I. is pretty much identical. Um, and it was just a really, really fun place. Uh, the atmosphere was great. A lot of locals, just because it's uh, was so out of the way. I, I suppose now that um, it's famous for Magnum PI, you might get a little bit more of the tourists. So that uh, zombie, they basically just said it was a Mai Tai with uh, more dark rum on the top. Um, not too sure about that, but I'm definitely going to make some Mai Tais and zombies in some upcoming episodes. Um, so in addition to the awesome drinks they had there, um, the, the food menu was, was really nice. Uh, I had a really good meal. Um, the kitchen looked quite busy, so I'd probably make a reservation uh, if you're going for dinner. And uh, so uh, to start out with, I had, there's the zombie there. I had stirred in the dark rum, and then that's the shrimp cocktail. Uh, the shrimp was just enormous. It, it's as big as it looks. Uh, and it was fresh, fresh seafood. 
uh, very nice shrimp cocktail and then that's the steak I had uh, it came with mashed potatoes and uh, they had a really peppery gravy on the bottom and it was just a, a delicious steak and that's La Mariana best tiki bar in Hawaii and one of my favorite tiki bars in the world all right all right all right so that's another episode of Chappie's Tiki Bar. Again, if you have any tropical destination stories, send them to Chappiness Tiki Bar at yahoo.com. Leave any uh, comments in the comment section below. And give, make sure you give Chappie a like. And for crying out loud, please subscribe. It's not going to cost you anything. So I'm going to leave you with the words of Diamond David Lee Roth. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is I've lost my way. The good news is we're way ahead of schedule. So this is Mookie saying see you next time on Chappie's Tiki Bar.